Today, we're going to talk about Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle. It was first published in France in 1963 as La Planète des Singes by Pierre Boulle. When translated into English, the American edition was called The Planet of the Apes, and the UK edition was called Monkey Planet. The word singe in French can be translated as monkey or ape. It's not as specific, but in the novel itself, we have chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas, and they're all part of the great apes. So uh, the better translation really is the planet of the apes. The novel starts with a frame story with a rich couple using a solar sail to sail through space, and they discover a message in a bottle, a manuscript, by someone named Ulysse Moreau. This manuscript by Ulysse tells of a journey from Earth to a star named Betelgeuse, not that Betelgeuse. And they find a planet around Betelgeuse, and they name it Soror, and they land in a lush forest on the planet. This planet has a reversal from what we know here on Earth. Humans are animals. They have no speech. They wear no clothes. Apes are intelligent and are the dominant species on the planet. They speak another language than English or French. And so the protagonist, when captured by the apes, must learn their language first to be able to communicate with them. Apes have an advantage because they have four hands to our two hands, and that's why they develop intelligence on the planet Zoror. The reversal creates a way of exploring evolution. Also, it explores how research facilities use animals. We look at animal experimentation, we look at evolution, we look at political systems and bureaucracies, and we look at what is intelligence. The core of the novel, the relationships between apes and humans, is actually well reflected in the movie The Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston. However, being a movie, many things were changed. So I'm going to ask the question, was this in the novel when we see something from the movie? First, in the movie, they crash land in water and they take a raft to shore. Was this in the novel? No, in the novel, they land in a lush forest where they eventually meet Nova and the other humans. Do the humans wear clothes? In the novel, the humans do not wear clothes. They are animals. I don't think you've seen any animals wearing clothes unless we put them on them. Do the apes speak English? In the novel, they do not speak English. The protagonist has to learn their language. In the novel, apes are able to drive vehicles and fly planes. In the movie, all we see are horses for transportation. The chimpanzee characters of Dr. Zira and Dr. Cornelius are the same in both the novel and the movie, as well as Dr. Zaius the orangutan. The famous line by Charlton Heston when recaptured, not in the novel. The movie has one of the most memorable endings in film history. Charlton Heston discovers he is actually on the planet Earth, that this is not another planet. Is it the same as the book? You maniac! Uh, the movie definitely holds a charm, and the over-the-top acting of Charlton Heston is very memorable. Uh, it still holds as a very interesting and entertaining movie. Was it like the novel? Just the core in terms of the relationships between the apes and the humans and sort of some of the intellectual ideas and concepts that are explored through that. But there's a lot that's not the same. And there's no framing story. We don't have the star of Beetlejuice. Overall, the novel, big surprise, is better. So if you can get your hands on The Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle, I would recommend it. It was one of the best first reads of science fiction that I had, and I would give it a 9 out of 10 for characters, for plot, for surprises and revelations and transformations within the characters and the ideas. 
What did you think of the Planet of the Apes, the movie, the novel? Do you have a comparison between the two? Leave your comments below.